Hello, Hands of Doll Bedsit Blogger here. And, um, well, the nice people at Tin Pan gave me a preview copy of Tin Pan Rhythm, which is um, a music songwriting um, app for iPad. Um, it's quite interesting. Um, it's very, very tuneful. And if you've been watching my channel, you'll know perhaps not all my music is that tuneful. So it's been quite interesting having an experiment with tune and working with chord progression and things like that. But, you know, me yabbering on, yabba, yabba, yabba. Let's get on with me showing you about it. Uh, so, these dots here are some common chords and there's um, some other alternative chords. You can have four, you've got four dots here which represent the four beats to the bar or you can have eight. Let's just drop this one in. There you go. So, there's the different ones. I've just put that up there for now. And if I press play, that will sound like... Oh. So, let's add a bit more... To it. Oh, I think something a bit. Let's see what that sounds like. So that yeah 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 that sounds all right but you know it could be more interesting so i hit this here no not that one you can change the tempo with this bit or you can have a measure of eight you can affect the key whether it's major or minor um and that, what am i looking for Ah, oh, this one. There you go. So I'm going to turn... So you start off with the... And you have... So you have the piano chord here. I like that. But I think there's over 30 odd different uh, chord progressions that you can do. And if you want to bring it down a bit, that will transpose the key down. And it will do all of them unless you press this little icon at the side here. That breaks it apart. I like the deep sound at the beginning. So just the piano on its own is a bit, yeah. So let's add a bit of bass. We've got a bass here.
going to That's quite nice, quite gentle, and we got pick here, which is kind of like a picked kind of lead guitar. Let's see what we got. And you always need a bit of percussion, don't you? So... We've got very simple percussion there, let's... And again, you got 30 odd different uh, percussions. And then for something a bit more beating, we've got uh, some brush rhythms. So you can build up your uh, a thing using a, a piano, uh, bass, picked guitar, percussion and uh, drums with brushes. It's got a very um, acoustic, organic kind of sound. Uh, could be quite an interesting thing for if you're wanting to make a little sketch for a song maybe. Um, that kind of thing. I think that's what they're aiming to do with it. Uh, but I think it could be something quite interesting for possibly kind of YouTubers wanting to have their own music because you're able to uh, record your, your your music um, in the program. And, uh, you know, you could have your own little interlude music or whatever. Um, also, something else which is quite cool about this, you can use it in audio paste and audio bus, which is quite groovy. So let's go to audio bus. And audio bus is a way of getting uh, programs, music programs to talk to one another all at the same time. Uh, Tim Pan Rhythm. So tap to launch. So I've got the thing there. So what you could also do is you could record it into GarageBand. Let's see, we got can record it into any of these programs. Loopy might be quite interesting. You could build up some different loops and and sort of create something, possibly even live. But I, I won't. I'm not going to record this now. But something I did have a mess around with was uh, putting it through some effects. That's uh, uh, AUFX space, which gives nice reverbs and stuff. So let's hear what that sounds like. So that's giving it sort of like a bit more of an echo and uh, giving it, making it a little bit more beefy, which is quite interesting. So you could have it running through various different effects. So you could even 
connect this into if you've got your headphones on and use the microphone built into the iPad and sing along to your tune that you've made and record it almost all as one thing which is uh, quite interesting so there you have it ah oh oh I hadn't I haven't found that before but you could change them about by that could be a quite an interesting way of um, varying your uh, your tune so I think it's quite an interesting um, app with um, sort of like quite a few different possibilities for musical types and also non-musical types like myself who you know I tend to work with more um, texture and feel rather than tune so it's been quite interesting having a play with this um, and I think it's going to be uh, $2.99 or €2.99 or £2.29. And uh, that's going to be available from the, um, uh, from the App Store. And uh, it's going to be made public Monday the 18th of May. Go on, check it out. And um, yeah... Do, do that and make some pleasant music. Bye-bye.